Hi everyone, and welcome to the first edition of Anderson Ranch's studio tutorial videos. During social distancing, the ranch is still dedicated to supporting our community through arts education. And so over the next few months, we will be releasing how-to videos in order to help you stay creative at home. My name is Leah Agater, and I'm the technician for our digital fabrication lab here at the ranch. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the term, Digital fabrication is a design and production process that combines 3D modeling, also known as computer-aided design, or CAD for short, with different forms of robotic manufacturing. So to begin this process, we need to make a computer file. There are many different CAD programs to use and learn, but today I'm going to teach you the basics of Tinkercad, which is a free Autodesk product made to introduce children to 3D modeling. I'm sure many of you have played the game The Combination Man, also known as Exquisite Corpse. In this game, each collaborator adds to a composition and sequence, either by following a rule or being allowed to see only the end of what the previous person contributed. You can create your own set of rules at home, but this video will center around collaboratively assembling an animal. This can be done on a piece of paper or as a sculptural object, but today we're going to do it with 3D modeling. Because Tinkercad is a cloud-based software, you can play The Combination Man with friends near or far, or grab your family members and have everyone participate. Let's get started. Open a new tab in your browser and navigate to Tinkercad.com. If you need to make an account, click Join Now. Remember, this is a free program. If you already have an Autodesk account, go ahead and sign in. The default login page is called the dashboard. Your dashboard displays all designs created on your account. You can see in my dashboard that I've created each body part as a different file. This is because each participant in your game will design in their own file. The last part I need to design is the head. To begin a new design, select create new design. The first step is to learn how to navigate the work plane. There are three ways to move within the work plane, zoom, rotate, and pan. I recommend using a three button mouse when 3D modeling. So here are your instructions with a mouse. To zoom, scroll the middle button or scroll wheel up and down. To rotate, right click and hold and drag your mouse left and right. The very center of the work plane acts as the pivot point. You can see when I do this that the cube in the top left corner of the screen moves around as well. Another way to rotate is to left click and hold any highlighted part of that cube and move it around. Finally, to pan, hold shift and right click and hold, moving your mouse left and right. Tinkercad offers a bunch of different pre-made shapes for you to play with, but in order to improve your modeling skills quickly, I challenge you to only use the basic shapes. To bring a shape onto the work plane, Click on the shape in the right toolbar, and then click on your work plane to place it down. Each shape comes in the same size, but you can manipulate it once it's in place. Click your shape and drag it to move it around the work plane. You can also use your keyboard arrows to drag things incrementally. Now select the shape so that it is highlighted with a light blue outline. When the shape is highlighted, you'll notice a series of dotted lines, squares, and arrows appear at the dimensional corners. To move your shape up or down, click the upward arrow on top of the shape to drag it. To manipulate the scale of your shape, click and drag any of the squares on the perimeters. These will change scale in a single direction. If you want to scale the shape uniformly, just hold shift while you drag these corners. Finally, you can rotate your shape by dragging the semicircles with arrows situated on all sides of the shape. Take some time to play around with these scaling features. These manipulations are crucial in turning basic shapes into something new. In addition to pre-made forms in the basic shapes menu, there is also the option to draw a scribble. You can add a scribble to the work plane the same way you add a shape, but when you drop it down, it takes you into the top view of the plane. Here you can use your mouse to click and draw an organic form. You can also erase any mistakes, all the while previewing what your scribble looks like three-dimensionally in the preview window at the top right corner of your workspace. 
When you're done scribbling, click done. I don't need the scribble in my head design, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it by highlighting it and hitting delete or backspace on my keyboard. I'm liking how this looks for the base of my animal head, but I want to add more features to it. So I'm going to teach you how to combine shapes. First, build, scale, and manipulate all the components of your body part, and then move them into the correct positions. You'll notice that as I model, I'm constantly rotating and panning around my object in order to get the best view on the section I'm working through. Now, while holding Shift, click on every element you want to combine. With all elements highlighted, click the Group button in the top right toolbar, and everything will turn into one object. If you don't like it and want to change something, you can always ungroup your object and tweak it. So, in the same way that you can add two shapes together, you can subtract one shape from another. Let's say I wanted to have the eyes of my animal recessed into the head instead of popping out. I'm going to select those two eyes by holding shift and clicking on each of them individually, and then I'm going to go to the top right and make them a hole. Now select everything and group it. It will subtract whatever shapes were holes from whatever shapes were solids. There you have it, the basics of 3D modeling in Tinkercad. But there's one final step of the combination man, putting everything together. If you're working with friends who are using other accounts, you'll have to share your file with each other. To do this, click on the person with the plus icon at the top right of your screen. If you hover over this icon, it reads, invite people to design with you. Generate a new link to your design and email it to your collaborators. So once you have all of your designs, how do you put them into a single file? A great feature of Tinkercad and most other 3D modeling softwares is the ability to copy and paste objects from one file into another. Navigate back to your dashboard and open all of your Combination Man designs in new tabs. Go into each design and copy the object by highlighting it and typing Command C for Mac or Control C for PC. Paste it into the correct file by typing Command V for Mac or Control V for PC. With all of the elements in place, you might need to do some scaling to make sure all pieces fit together properly. For example, I can tell that my tail is going to be way too big for the body of my animal. And there you have it, the combination man. Be sure to look out for the rest of our studio tutorial videos in the coming weeks. Stay safe and healthy and have a great weekend practicing your 3D modeling skills. Remember to share your finished products on social media and tag Anderson Ranch so our community can see all of your creations. I hope to see you in the digital fabrication lab at Anderson Ranch soon.